Dr. Nard here back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a simple linear regression. So let's go to the top, click on regression, and we'll do linear. And we're gonna take training at, well, actually first take injuries, move it to our dependent variable list, and we'll move training to our covariate list. And we're not done yet. We gotta do a couple more things here. So go ahead and click uh, adjusted R squared. We want that. That takes into consideration the variables and it kind of corrects it a little bit, makes it a little more conservative. And then we also want the um, model coefficients right down here. So it says the ANOVA test, we want that. Um, and we could take a look at that here in a second. We also want our standardized estimates are also known as our beta. So that's pretty much all we need uh, for this assignment, for the first part anyway, and I have the second part for you guys in one second. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We have our model right here at the top. We have our R, which is 0.458, our R squared, which is 0.210, and our adjusted R squared is 0.182. Now, if we go down here to our ANOVA table, we can see if it's significant. And indeed, 0.011 is less than 0.05. So our overall model is significant, um, meaning that this variable uh, injuries and training, that training does a good job at predicting uh, the number of injuries somebody will sustain. And actually, you can see right here in our beta coefficients, because if you look at this beta, negative 0.58, this basically means as the number of training hours increases, our injuries uh, decrease. So as training goes up, so more training, the uh, less injuries people sustain. So one other thing I wanna show you all in this video is how to do a simple uh, graph, if we want to graph this out so we can see it visually. Now, by the way, you can always copy and paste this. If you go up here and do copy, you can actually copy and then can control V or, or right click and paste into a Word document. That's really helpful. But the other thing we're gonna do right here is go to exploration and we can go to scatter plot. So we'll go right here to scatter plot and we can do a little scatter plot for us. So if we put, uh, let's put uh, training on the X axis and injuries on the Y axis. Uh, and we can do a linear line through that, um, line of best fit as it's known. We can kind of see, right, a pattern emerge here. So as training goes up, uh, injuries uh, go down. So you can kind of see that happening right there. Anyway, you could also, by the way, copy and paste this as well, and we can go ahead and paste that into a Word document. Any questions, send me an email, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.